My name is Brain of Terror and I'm an NSO at Dublin Roller Derby. In this video, I'm going to look at the overlay admin page. So I'm not going to go into how you do broadcasting and streaming generally, and that's a topic for another set, series of videos. However, we're just going to look at CRG and what options it has. So this is generally what you want. This is a preview of what the overlay will look like. So if I like start a jam, it, you can see all the times here are updating. If I have skaters selected, they'll be there. For some reason you want to remove these, you can. And this all generally works. Now, you can actually also alter the name. So you can imagine if the full name was Dublin Roller Derby, that that's a little long and gets cut off. So often you'll want to do, trim things down for the sake of broadcast, just so things look nice, similarly with Twitter. And you can also directly override the colors here. So this is a dreadful color scheme, but it is an example. So these can be altered directly here. These are the exact same settings as over on the Teams editor. It's just that they're all conveniently for you here. There's also some other panels. And these things in brackets are all keyboard controls. These are all hard coded. So I might, if there's, if we're in the middle of the timeout, I might decide to show the rosters. So there's the A team, one team, the other team, Here's their penalties, currently. Uh, you've also, if you've got a game is upcoming, you might just show, hey, here's the teams, and the logos will be shown there. Uh, the other option here is this lower third. So what this is useful for is if you're doing interviews. So we'll just switch to this. So I can say, hey, this is Brain, and he's an NSO. And we're gonna talk to him and it's in the default colors. Or actually, no, he's in team one. Naughty NSO being partial. Or you can just select the various skaters here and it will show them here. And you might want to hide those for that. Now there's one other thing to show. As I mentioned in the previous video, let's say there is a logo for black. And we'll give. So if I look at the settings now at my edit live scoreboard, you'll see that these logos are showing. And I don't want them there. However, when it comes to the upcoming jam, I kind of want my logos shown because that looks pretty neat. But I also want the scoreboard names to be visible. And this is what this show logos button is for. It will hide the uh, logos on the main scoreboard, but they're still available for other things like the broadcast overlay to use them. The other setting here is the background, whether it's transparent or green. Transparent is the setting you want. If you need green, you will know. However, one thing to be wary of is if you are using green and you have team colors that are green, like someone like Ulrike, uh, this can cause problems with your chroma key -y, green screeny stuff. So watch out if you have to use green, um, if you have any green colored teams. Transparent, yay. Um, and that is a basic look at how the overlay controls work. No panel, done.